Hey guys, welcome. Uh, welcome back to ETL QA Labs. This is Hetu, and uh, in this session, we will look at uh, a very important function in SQL that is called substring or substr. Okay, so we will try to understand substr and we will see um, the practical usage of it. Okay, and then after that, we will also cover a very important question from the interview point of view, right. So let's start then. So what is substr? Substr, as name suggests, that it is uh, just part of a string, right? So sub basically is um, it's not full string; it's basically partial string, right? So that is that is uh, the literal meaning of substr, substring, right? So substr function in SQL is used to extract the certain part of a string based on the starting position and the length that we decide. So if you look at the syntax, this is the syntax. So sub str, and then you have to give the string name, and then you have to tell that from which index you want to start, and then up to what length you want to go for. Okay. So for example, if I would say I have let's say India. Okay. So this is the string. For example, I'm just putting some uh, no spaces here just to let you know okay so this one is going to starting uh, index for this i will be 1 for this it will be 2 and this is 3 4 and 5 okay in other way round if you want to start from backward right the starting index then you can say minus 1 this will be minus 2 this will be minus 3 and for n it is minus 4 and i will be minus 5 okay so this is how you know you can decide the starting position right so if i would like to you know uh, decide if i would like to uh, for example i would like to start uh, let's say i want I want to extract n d i for example okay so what will be the equivalent means uh, how do i need to write so n d i right here so it should start from what guys it should start from 2 right so you have to say 2 and then uh, it should go up to what length actually it should go up to 3 length right because n d i 1 2 3 so it should go to 3 length so it is starting from index number 2 and then it should go to 3 lengths so then ndi will be covered okay for example if i want to get this right let me copy it okay so if i need to go if i need to extract this particular string uh, then what i have to start i have to starting position will be 1 obviously and then it should go to 1 2 3 4 4 length right this is how we can get it okay there is other way around uh, means if uh, we don't know you know uh, the starting position if we want to extract based on the uh, you know the end of uh, the string ending uh, i would say starting position will be from the backward right from this side let's say my requirement is to get uh, last three characters from the string right so we don't know how long string is then what i can say last three characters which means it will be like this yeah all this so for example in this case it will be d i e right so how do i know i really don't know the starting position okay so i only know that i want to get the last three positions so what i will do for a starting position will be minus three guys sorry it should be here starting position will be minus three and what is the length it will be good three, three length right so it will be from here i mean this one right three and uh, one two three so this is the three position then i will get dia okay i i hope you are able to understand it so if we know uh, you know the starting if we have to extract something from a starting position we have to give the positive uh, index and then if we need to extract something you know uh, from the from the end of the string then we have to start with uh, minus so that we know that actually uh, what is the position of it right so this is how we can get it 
now let's try to see the example and then after that uh, we will try to understand it okay guys so this is the complete uh, syntax of it and uh, I already have a table uh, I will show you so I have one table called employee and then I have some string there okay so this is uh, the full name right so full name is a little longer and let's try to utilize this okay so what I want to do is I want to find first four characters from this name field okay so what will be the first four characters P A I S V I K A N I L E S L E right so this is starting uh, four characters okay I want to get it extract it so I have to sub str this is the function then I have to give the string name so here we don't have a string name we have the column name itself right because we want to just work on the column so uh, otherwise guys you can if you want to just try it you can try like this okay so if you have uh, let's say India in this case whatever example we have taken if I want to say one and I want to go to three length so starting from one and I want to go to uh, three length and then we'll try to see what happens so you see guys it is giving because it is basically uh, I have to say dual because if I say dual then I will get single output since we are using this employee table that's why it is coming uh, as multiple times okay all right guys so this is what we are getting i and d right starting from one for example if i want to say two to four what should i get can you guess guys so two to four two uh, n d i a because four length right starting from index number two n d i a so let's try Okay, so sorry, one second. All right, see N D I A. So this is how you can use the substring function, guys. Now, uh, now since uh, we we normally use in SQL on the column, right? So we already have column, and let's try to use on this particular column, so that I want to get uh, value for each of this rows, right? I mean um, the length uh, the substring for each of this length right so let's try to do what I want like to do is I want to get first five characters let's say okay from each of them so I want to also dis display the full name so that you know will come you can compare also okay so full name then I want to get the partial string right so what is this sub str function then I have to give the column name okay and then I have to say what is the starting position I want to start from one index number one and I want to go up to fifth five five uh, uh, length right let's try guys now see that we wash five all of them are five characters basically right this is full name and this is the partial substring right because we have taken it similarly if you want to start from let's say two position number two then you see b is not appearing is starting from a here i is starting i here also a so you see that it is basically uh, following what i am actually saying start from what location right what position basically starting position now if uh, i want to find out uh, that you know i just want uh, last three or four characters okay last four characters from the uh, last four characters okay so here I have to say it is giving you last four characters right so from here if you say R M A R A T E L here Rao is there so it is also taking the comma here right just to make the four characters so this is how you can do even if you are not mentioning I think here then also it will work guys why it will work because if you are not mentioning minus four means uh, the end position what it will do is it will be anyways go up to the four length right but if I want you know let's say I want uh, uh, I mean I don't want the last uh, character right so I want basically R M A R so except last character I want only three characters okay so for example I don't want the last one so here it should be A T E 
here should be r m a r so like that if i need to get it i have to start from minus 4 position to 3 because i don't want the whole right so 3 only so then uh, the last characters will not be appearing so here r m a a t e l is removed here then here r a o uh, sorry r a o is also removed so the last character is not coming so like that you can say basically so what is the length it's starting from minus 4 and i want to go only for three lengths i don't want to go to minus 4 uh, i mean four length so that's why it is actually uh, not considering the last characters okay guys i hope you are able to understand this substring function okay and uh, so this is how it works okay so you can even uh, extract it from backward or front right now uh, one of the very important question from the from the interview point of view guys okay so what i want to cover is i want to just uh, tell you another function okay so in this case I want to just find out what is the position of this okay so if let's say uh, I don't really know uh, so so my question okay so let let's come back to question and then we'll try to understand you know what what the other function that I was talking okay so uh, for example if I want to uh, so this is the first name and comma last name first name last name first name last name so last name and first name this is this is separated by a comma right so there is a requirement wherein i need to segregate the first uh, full name as a first name and last name okay so i want a, a separate column okay so in that case what i will do guys okay i i can obviously start from one and I can go to this length basically but uh, this particular length is variable right so for example here for Siam only five characters are there but here Vaishnav it is uh, how many uh, I think it's eight character right so we cannot really say that sub str something like this okay so let's say I want to guys just take full name so that we'll not lose understanding here so if I say mm, full name one two five for example okay from employee so what will happen here guys you see that uh, first name is not really appearing completely bash now right so it's it's uh, it's removed like nav is removed here but if you see here vikas it has it has completely come here right and here also so the name of name can be varied right so it is not possible that you know if you want to find out the first name then you cannot give the length basically because length you don't really know you know definitely the starting position now from where you want to start the first name that is one right uh, for the string but we really don't know what is where the first name is ending because of the variable length of the first name right so what i have to do is i have to really find out what is the position of this particular comma right and if i find the position of this comma and and say i have to say minus one which means not this position up to here it will come if i say subtract one so this position and then minus one uh, it will perfectly fit the first name so let's try to see that how do we get it okay so guys there is a, so first we know already what is the starting position one okay to find out the position of the comma there is a function called instr okay and this is a, this function basically accepts the column name and then it says that okay what is the delimiter you want to find out the position for so i have already given it here so i want to find the position of this comma okay on the full name field okay so if i just hit this you see guys I got it so it is basically starting from one and it is actually going up to comma because in this it has already find the uh, you know the position of it which means what is this this is basically length if i will show you here this is nothing but this is the length okay so let me try to show you instr uh, this is how we are actually giving right we are giving the the length length is uh, nothing but a number right so let's try this 
so you see that it is already telling that what is the position of this comma so basically ninth right so this is the length so if i find it one two three four five six seven eight and nine here it should be six because v i k this is five and this is six so this is the six so actually we are actually able to spot what is the position of this particular what is the length of this now since uh, this is how since uh, we don't want the comma because comma is just a separator so what i will do is i will just say minus one from this particular length because this particular instr this complete right complete function is returning some number and then i am saying minus one okay then what will happen is it will start from position one from here and it will go up to here just before the comma right and then it will perfectly give you the first name see guys yes got it so this is how you can find it out now um, the second question is uh, i mean in this one only right so what we want to do it we want to um, get the what we want to get the last name also right so again i have to say sub str and then i have to say full name now guys what should be the starting position of you know second name so starting position of second name will be um, we already know what is the position of it we can use this function right to know this so we already know if i say plus one right so i will come to here actually right because if i know the already the position of it when i have said minus one then it actually extracted up to here when i say plus one it will start basically from here so actually my uh, second name or the last name should actually start from here right what is this position this position is nothing but uh, the position of this comma plus one okay so i have to say again instr then i have to say full name and then i have to say comma got it okay plus one i have to say so it basically full name and from where i am going to start i am going to start instr full name comma plus one means i am going to start from this right after comma plus one basically and then up to what i don't need to specify because i want everything you know so it should start from here and it should take up to the end so i don't want to define anything which means whatever you know uh, characters will come after this as, so all of them i need it basically okay so let's try to hit this and see one second guys something went wrong okay I I forgot to close the bracket. Now see guys. Let me. I think it's not really very clear. Let me do one thing. I think it is because of my setting. But let me just. Uh, so I have shown you first name. Let me show you the second uh, last name. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm just trying to display the last name here. Eh? so here you see parmar is coming perfectly patel is coming perfectly rao is coming perfectly this is the last name guys right so after comma right so this is how you can uh, extract the last name okay so this is uh, use of instr and this is really very very important interview question that how do you segregate the you know name field with uh, between the first name and last name so here can be you know it is like comma in in your case it might be Uh, space also right so it's nothing you have to just give here instead of comma you have to give a space because instr is basically uh, finding out the location of that particular delimiter so delimiter if if it is uh, space then you have to give a space yeah it will perfectly calculate so this is how we are using the instr and sub str in sql and uh, i think uh, this is more than enough uh, to answer any kind of question Uh, that uh, you may encounter during your interview so please remember this and uh, especially this question because this is very famous question for interview perspective and uh, usage of sub str and I, instr right so they might ask it so uh, this is all i wanted to cover guys thank you thank you for watching and uh, see you soon with the next video until then happy learning god bless you bye